having for dinner. Probably won't be enough, but when you're trying to save money, you're packing your own food. This is my outfit of the day. What do we think of the color combo? So these are like uh, berry colored and the peacoat is obviously red. Um, I think it's quite nice and it is Valentine's Day almost, so it works. I remember my mom and I had a matching Valentine's Day dress when I was a little girl and it was red, pink, and had dinosaurs and little hearts on it. I loved the color combo. But anyways, this reminds me of that. I thrifted this coat. I think it was like 15 bucks or something. And I love pea coats. And I also love the color. And then I also got this bag. It's a nice little leather like tote bag at an estate sale here in town. So that was pretty cool. This is like $10, but it opens up really wide. I'm gonna show you. It's great for carrying music. <clears throat> so this is like already two books and a bunch, bunch of sheets and it has that much space left. So these like metal bars, they can close whoops, around it and you get a nice, um, nice big bag. I need to clean it, it's kind of dirty. Well, this is a close angle. Anyways, chapstick, can't go anywhere without chapstick. All right, so I suppose I should tell you where I'm going. I am headed to San Francisco, which is about an hour and 20 minute drive from where I live. And I got asked to play at my friend Grace, who you'll meet later in the vlog. Um, her dad passed away a little over a year ago and it's his first anniversary mass today and they wanted me to play for it so i feel very honored to play at this special service for him so um yeah that is where i'm going and i will take you along we're also going to have grace's lesson and then work on an original by her so this is everything to do with being a professional pianist I just want to say that I have an empty tank of gas because I never let it go lower than a half. Who else is like that? I feel like, well, actually I heard somebody say, like, what if you're in a situation where you had to flee really fast, you couldn't, couldn't stop to get gas, or if all the gas stations were taken because everyone had to evacuate, like in the case of the fires a couple years ago, that's what happened. Um, you just never know. And also I feel like you're more prepared. On trips like today where I'm going a farther distance, I don't have to stop and get gas before. So it just saves time. So that's a tip. All right, here we go. We're on the road. Yes. 